What's going on everybody? Urban-Picker.com here and I'm going to show you what I listed yesterday, October 27th, 2019. These are items that uh, if you wish to buy any of them, you want to uh, check them out a little bit closer. My link will be below in the YouTube video. It's urban-picker.com. And here we go. I didn't list too much yesterday, uh, but a little bit. We got an Umbro youth t-shirt here. Fireball women's t-shirt. Sturges. Black Hills Raleigh. If you like anything Harley Davidson or Sturges related or motorcycle related at all, I've got plenty of it in my store. You can check that out. Plenty of blues items if you're a blues fan like myself. Milwaukee Tools. Corona. I got all kinds of alcohol related items in my store also. Nissan. Oh, sorry. Sweater. Um, I've got plenty of Nissan sweaters going up. I've got several more variations that need to be listed. This here is two of them. We got a men's black sweater and a woman's v neck shirt, long sleeve. Perfect time of year for it here in October. Another Milwaukee's item. I've listed several vintage hats yesterday, so we'll go through those here. Rank and Technical Institute, military item. I've got plenty of military hats in my store. If you like bank related stuff or you collect bank related items, I always buy those. Small businesses, I love finding small business stuff. PN, I'm not sure what that means as of yet as well as this TSI. I could not find that logo online when I was researching. we got a youth NASA hat. We've got a plain little trucker's hat. If you want to add your own little embroidered or patch to that, you can. A vintage Wildcats snapback. I've got plenty of Wildcats items in my store also. Uh, Clark Machinery. Got a couple hats here, and i got a few more coming down as we scroll down, and I think there's already a couple in my store. There's another Wildcats item. Seven Springs Mountain Resort. I love grabbing that kind of stuff. Does have a broken snapback, which can be replaced. Uh, Rainmaster Gutter, another small business. Bentley Lime Service, again there. There's another Clark, and here's one right below it also. Cascade Corporation hat. This Bobcat equipment, this hat is nice. Very nice condition for its age. Beautiful, bright colors still. Love that. XI Technologies. WRMC. I'm not 100% sure what that is. I kind of Googled it. I believe it has something to do with gas and oil and uh, maybe even shell related. I'm not 100% on that, but it is a very nice hat. Corduroy, beautiful, bright hat. Permit Auto Sales, another small business. They're probably not even around no more. I did not check to make sure. There we go. International AI, Valvoline. I love buying gas and oil related items. I believe I just sold a Valvoline jacket actually yesterday or the day before. Midco Sales and Service, Thurman, Waterloo Lumber Company. Here's another military hat. I believe this one still has the tags on it, so it's technically new. I don't know for sure if anybody wore it, so I did list it as pre-owned. Stemco Missouri Fleet Parts. I guess it's a trucking parts for trucks, semis. We got a brickwork from Highland, Illinois. Very nice textured hat. I like that. Vintage green two-cylinder club. It's kind of cool. I love buying when I like, obviously, vintage hats. I love getting, uh, especially when they're patch related. I love patch hats. We got the Burlington Northern Air Freight there. Nexon, Nexon Tire. We've got two of those, actually, in quantity. The Bank of New Gambria. I believe that's how that's pronounced. I'm not 100% sure, even though I am in Missouri. I do not know. Sorry. Maybe I need to get out more and take some trips to these little towns. And check them out. Cattleman Days from 2005. Sc 
Scott brand. I'm not sure exactly what that is. I didn't Google it. I figured it was going to be a little tough, so I thought I'd ju I just threw it up real quick. Uh, so if you do recognize that logo, please leave me a comment below and let me know. That will help me out, and then I can uh, update this list. The same with this one. It's an engine, train engine with a P on it. I could not find that logo when I Googled it. could not figure out exactly what that stands for or what it is. Not 100% sure. So if you know, please leave a link or a comment below. Friendship Industries 8. God, I forgot to put the date in the title. Cabela's and old Cabela's. I got tons of Cabela stuff in my store. Vincy Chicago Cubs. Plenty of sports items in my store if you're into the sports. Moosehead Beer, another alcohol-related item. An old vintage L.A. Dodgers hat. Official Bikini Inspector. Um, <laughs> there's a, a nice patch hat there. Hercule, Hercules Tires. Anything transportation-related, I grab. I love that kind of stuff. I'm a big car crazy guy. Vintage Anaheim Angels. Elect for Chief of Police. His actual first name is Valentine. I Googled him as I was putting this up yesterday to find out more about where this area was that he was running for, Chief of Police. And it turns out he was buried two days ago, three days ago now. But I thought that was kind of kind of weird timing how I put this up. And he had just passed away at the age of 82. Uh, he did not win chief of police from what I read. Uh, but he was a police officer. I believe one of the areas was Overland, Missouri. Not too far from where I'm sitting right now. So yes, he uh, passed away. Mr. Valentine. Pretty kick-ass name too. USA Speedo. Love getting these wildlife hats. They usually have different businesses on them, different logos, but this one has a bear on the side. I've had duck and deer, and they're just very nice quality, very well done hats. Sun and sand uh, beach bucket hat. If you're trying to get away from the autumn weather here in the United States, the upper in the United States, I should say, we got a nice little burp cloth there. Shop and save. I may believe I think all my shop and save items have sold out. I just put this one up yesterday. Shop and save was a local grocery store that was bought out by another local grocery store. Notes, and they closed several of them and changed their name. So I've been selling shop and save stuff since then. And uh, it's been going pretty well. So I got no doubt this bag is going to eventually move. Just a little simple tie there. I got some Boy Scout uh, scarves and clips here. Got them up for auction because some of the clips, just the one clip by itself was going for about 15 bucks. And I had three of those in there, a couple of other different ones and several scarves. So I just decided to throw up for auction, let somebody get a good deal. We've got a few ties, nothing super major here. Uh, Saks Fifth Avenue black sweater, silk, Terraria, Terraria, something like that, <laughs> video game, youth shirt, we got Go Army, Nike, got a cashmere sweater for the women out there, cashmere is doing really well right now in the fall, of course, and selling a lot of cashmere sweaters, so that probably won't stick around too long. Just Joe Talibut's long sleeves, got a uh, sequined jeweled like style uh whale down here in the corner it's pretty cool uh girls juicy couture jacket perfect for the fall area for the fall the autumn that we are in upon right now i know that didn't make sense Susan Graver, some velvet soft velvet pants daisy fuentes uh brand new I think the tag on this said like $56 or something like that. Hell of a deal at $16.99. Uh, 
uh, <laughs> Mickey Mouse sweats. I've got the BKE brand from Buckle. Some uh, women's jeans there. Some golf shorts. I sell anything and everything. I'm telling you, check out my store. I'm sure you'll find something that will tickle your fancy if you will. Arrows, Arkansas Razorbacks, Real Tree. I always grab hunting related items. I'm not a big hunter. I'm not into big killing animals, but I do enjoy eating them. So I grab them. Uh, <laughs> we've got anything. Here's another military item, especially plane related. Anything plane related, whether it's military or Cessnas or ancient or vintage, I should say. I'm just, I grab plane related items, but yet I'm. I'm scared as hell to fly, <laughs> mainly because my life's in somebody else's hands, and that's not really my my cup of tea. I prefer to control my own life when it comes to death situations. Um, we got a little teddy bear sweater here. I usually grab all these kind of cutesy little sweaters here, so I probably still have a lot of them in my store. They do sell slow movers, but another cashmere sweater here. Vintage Denver, Denver Broncos. Always grabbing, obviously, sports-related, especially if it's vintage. We got a wool-rich green cardigan sweater for women here. This thing is nice and heavy. You want a nice, warm, heavy-duty winter sweater? This is it, man. That thing is weighted. Tommy Hilfinger, if you want a little light one, yeah, I have those also. Blues! St. Louis Blues, vintage sweatshirt. Got plenty of blues items in my store. Plenty and plenty, including the vintage with the red that they brought back this year for the third sweaters. The big red, the mid-90s sweaters. That colorway is popular right now. That probably will not last too long. Santa Monica hoodie. Cardinals items. Got hundreds of, hundreds of Cardinals items in my store. I sell Cardinals items daily. So there's another hoodie added to the collection. This is my second piece from this university in Australia. Wollongong, Gong, Wollongong. First one I believe sold. And this is a nice vintage sweater. So it's a pretty cool piece there. I like that. Camp Thomas sock. Super crest old farm vintage jacket. I love that kind of stuff. Always grabbing that. Pioneer Seeds, any of that kind of stuff. You will find that in my store. Another Wildcats item there. Mizzou, got tons of Mizzou stuff in my store. And we got a Kyle, Kylie, alumni blue sweatshirt here. I think it's like a Christian school or something because there's like a cross up in here. So nice vintage sweatshirt there. And another Cardinals piece here. So that was all yesterday. I'll go down a few more just to give you some uh, what I did the days before because this is my first video of this type. So I'll go a little bit more. And uh, I hope to do this video every morning, show you what I listed the day before. So there's another one of those Nissan sweaters. Uh, we got some Cole Haan loafers for men there. Vintage toys, vintage plush. I'm always grabbing that stuff. So if you're into the that whole vintage area, follow my store. Click on follow and save seller. Uh, you'll get my email sent to you every Friday of what I've listed. You can click on that and go through and see if there's anything you want to purchase. Uh, and then you also can follow me on Instagram and Facebook here on YouTube. Links below for all my sites outside of YouTube. So if you want to keep up with what I'm selling and what I'm listing, uh, this is a kick-ass members-only wool, freaking new old stock sweater. I loved finding that. That was a very cool item to find. So got that listed perfect time of year. Raggedy Ann and Andy, I usually grab all that kind of stuff. If you're a jazz fan, I got some Dave Cos hats in my store. Little Mermaid, Ziggy, plenty of shoes. If you're looking for a, a nice pre-owned pair of shoes or even new, I do have some new in there too. Check out my store. I got plenty of that. 
a nice vintage patch hat here, deer hunting. Dave Koz, Garth Brooks, all music related stuff I will buy. I worked in a music store from like 93 to 2000. So music was like a big love of mine. So I'm always grabbing music related items. Detector thing. It's like a homemade leather Pablo visor there. Another Speedy Smith Turtle from 1994. This one's new with tags. The old barn, the old arena here in St. Louis, Ken Griffey. Got tons of electronics, CD players, stereo equipment, DVD equipment, concert t-shirts. I've got it all. I get it all. I try to stay well diversed in collectibles and things like that. So I try so when I'm out sourcing, I can grab from a a nice smorgasbord of items and have a nice array of diff just different things in my store. I love that. From obviously shoes to music to hats to vintage toys to updated newer shoes. Not newer, but more hip to the younger generation, if you will. These are the Soldier Ford LeBron. Cool. This is a cool, heavy rose bulb knit sweater this thing is kick ass when i saw that i was like wow got to get that very nice sweater want some cast iron for your kitchen i got that too and remington usually anything firearms i'm not a gun person i don't like shooting guns i tried to get out of the city to avoid getting shot by guns but i'm all for the whole second amendment and right to bear arms and definitely remington and different gun manufacturers, their items are constantly selling. Uh, so I always grab gun-related items. Just don't go around shooting people because that's bad. You understand? That's bad. Very bad. All right, we'll, we'll call it there. Um, so that's everything. I'll try to do this daily on items I listed, and hopefully there's something there you like that will intrigue you or make you want to click the link below, urban-picker.com, and check it out and maybe even buy it. Or, hey, how about share it with somebody who may be interested in it? I'd totally appreciate that. This is my full-time gig. Uh, this is what I've been doing for 18 years. I will take care of you. You will get what you see, and you'll get it swiftly and quickly. So thank you for watching this video, and thank you for supporting me in any way that you are, even if you're just watching the video, if you're liking the video, following me on one of the social media sites, buying an item, sharing an item, Anything you do for me will be greatly, greatly appreciated. And I totally thank you for anything. So thank you for your time watching this video. And I will catch you next time.